Have you ever wondered why your prescription glasses keep changing every three to six months? Hi, welcome to yet another episode of Edvision. I'm Dr. Ashwin, here to talk to you about a special topic, keratoconus. Keratoconus is a common eye disorder in which the cornea starts to bulge outwards, acquiring the shape of a cone. It commonly affects both eyes and leads to vision deterioration. The causes of keratoconus are many. The cornea is held together by tiny fibers of protein in the eye called collagen. When these collagen fibers start getting weakened, the cornea starts to bulge acquiring the shape of a cone. A decrease in protective antioxidants in the cornea can also be a reason. Frequent eye rubbing and recurrent allergies can also be a reason. While for others, it could be inherited if someone in the family has already had it before. Symptoms usually appear during puberty or teens and can last for several years. For some, it might also be lifelong. During the early stages of keratoconus, the patient may experience mild blurring, double vision or increased sensitivity to light. The vision distortion does not fully get corrected with glasses. There will be frequent changing of glasses and the contact lenses don't fit over the eye due to the bulge. Redness and swelling may also be noticed in some cases. Glasses and contact lenses may be prescribed to correct the visual defects. But to fully treat the keratoconus, Strengthening and flattening of the cornea is needed to halt the progression of keratoconus and to correct some of the other visual disturbances that might be associated with it. The doctor might first examine the medical and family history and conduct some tests to determine the shape of the cornea. There are now some very specialized tests such as computerized corneal imaging that help detect early signs of keratoconus. But the treatment completely depends on the severity of the disease. For severe cases, collagen cross-linking as a procedure is administered. The aim behind this procedure is to strengthen and flatten the corneal tissue by increasing the number of anchors to halt the progression of the corneal eye bulge. This procedure can significantly reduce the need for any corneal transplant for this patient. For mild to moderate cases, a specialized customized contact lens that's softer, tailor-made and precisely fits the keratoconic eye of the patient might be prescribed. These lenses provide greater stability because of their large diameter. In very advanced cases, unfortunately, a corneal transplant is the only viable option. In these cases, it may take several months for the patient's vision to restore and they may still need glasses or contact lenses to see clearly. Here's an interesting fact. Most patients don't even know they have keratoconus until they come in for LASIK surgery. But unfortunately, patients with keratoconus are not eligible for LASIK surgery as LASIK requires a standard shape and size of a cornea for treatment. These parameters are irregular in patients with keratoconus. LASIK could further weaken the structural integrity of the cornea and worsen the progression of the keratoconus. We hope you found this information useful and the next time you go and visit your eye doctor, please ask them to check for keratoconus. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to know more about common eye conditions and how you can overcome them. See you in the next one.